Hello and welcome back to a quick tutorial on a problem I had just recently been fighting with while creating a short game of mine. And is that when we use the tile map colliders and have a player that moves on top of them, you can see that it sometimes uh, just jumps up a bit as if there were rocks or if it wasn't just completely straight. And I'm going to tell you the reason why it is and a solution to it. Both of them quite easy and really really easy to implement and solve well the problem in your game. So first of all the reason and for that I have actually prepared a short uh, small like paint thing here. So here's our wonderful player um, and actually as you can see our tile map is made up of all of these uh, collider boxes here and the problem actually is that when our player here moves to the left or to the right, sometimes while he is in between these colliders, i.e. here or here or here, well then the rigid body component thinks that it's actually at an edge or something like that. So it thinks, oh wow, I can't go straight here, I have to go a bit up there and well that causes these weird bumps in your terrain here. And the quick and easy solution for that would be to just make one huge collider box here and not multiple things here. And don't worry, you actually don't have to do that by hand. There's actually a really, really cool component here in the tile map thing. You just have to add the component, um, where is it? Composite collider here. This composite collider does actually uh, require a rigid body component on it though. So just remember to go in here set the freeze positions here and also just set the mass to something the zero and grab the scale to zero of that stuff so it doesn't actually interact with the environment that much and when you actually now go into the time up collider here you can see used by composite and when I tick this box you can see that it makes a huge collider around it and don't worry it's not just one big collider that's just here connected you can also have um, something up here and it doesn't isn't connected down here so your players can still move under that here and as you can see now the problem is solved and yeah that's it it's a quick tutorial and I hope you have a lovely day goodbye